everybody loves to be fluent in English. Like I emphasized in my previous videos, if you want to be fluent in English, there are various sacrifices that you have to make. One of, one of those sacrifices that you must make is trying to acquire a good vocabulary. Trying to acquire a good vocabulary because the person who has acquired a good vocabulary does not need to be afraid of anybody who is, who is fluent in English. So one of the one of the most practical and most effective methods that you can follow in order to acquire a good vocabulary is practicing one word substitutes. Practicing one word substitutes. So in this series of videos that I am bringing to you from today, I hope to discuss some important and some selected and important one word substitutes uh, and I hope they will be very useful in your day to day English. So before going to the lesson, I want you to pay your attention on what is one word substitute. The one, one word, these one word substitutes are those special words that uh, one word substitutes are those special words which say a whole term or detail relating to some characteristics, person, branch of science or art form in one word. So the knowledge of this one word substitutes is very useful uh, when writing uh, the precise of a passage summary of a write-up or, or, when, or when explaining the gist of an article. The other important thing is uh, the knowledge of this one word sub substitutes is uh, very useful in reading comprehension because the the, uh, the passage, the, pas the, passage uh, the questions, the questions following the passage in reading comprehension have to be answered in a few words. So the knowledge of this one word substitutes is very useful in reading comprehension. Uh, there are various uh, there are various words relating to uh, some sciences, characteristics, uh, professions, forms of arts, uh, theories, and concepts. So, in short, what I want to say is, if you know how to use how to use these one word substitutes correctly, you don't need to be afraid of anybody when talking in English, and you can uh, you can successfully use them in both your written and spoken English. So without talking further, let's go to the lesson. The first one word substitutes. Number one is eerie. E E R I E. E E R I E. Eerie. E that, that means the nest of a birds of prey. The nest of a bird of a prey. Eerie. E E R I E. Eerie. The nest of a bird of prey. The nest of a bird of prey. Number two is apiary. A P I A R Y. A P I A R Y Apiary 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 means the place of keeping bees the place of keeping bees Apiary the place of keeping bees number 3 aquarium A K U A R I U M A K U A R I U M aquarium aquarium means the artificial the artificial tank that we use to keep live fish the artificial, the, uh, the artificial tank where uh, live fish is kept or the artificial tank where uh, what we use to keep live fish number four archives a r c h i v e s a r c h i v e s archives we don't pronounce it archives we pronounce it archives a r c h i v e s archives archives means the place where government or public records are kept the place where government or public records are kept. Number five, avenue, A V E N U E, A V E N U E, avenue, A V E N U E, avenue. Avenue means a wide road with trees on each side. A wide road with trees on each side. Number six, aviary, A V I A R Y, A V I A. R Y Aviary. Aviary means the place of keeping birds or the place for keeping birds. Aviary. Aviary means the place for keeping birds. Number seven, barn. B A R N barn. B A R N barn, which means a covered a covered place for keeping uh, grains or hay. A covered place for keeping uh, the covered place for storing grain or hay. Barn, B A R N barn means a covered place, a covered store for uh, a covered uh, a covered place for storing grain or hay. Number eight, 
booth b double o t h b double o t h booth booth means a covered stall at the market a covered stall at the market booth means a covered stall at the market number 9 buyer b y r e b y r e buyer b y r e buyer buyer means a shelter for a cow a shelter for a cow so buyer means a shelter for a cow number 10 caboose c a b double o s e c a b double o s e caboose we pronounce it caboose caboose means the kitchen in a shop the kitchen in a shop caboose means the kitchen in a shop number 11 cash c a c h e c a c h e cash c a c h e cash cash means the pla- the place where provisions treasure or arms are hidden the place where provisions treasure or arms are hidden cash the place where provisions treasure or arms are hidden number 12 is cantonment c a n t o n m e n t c a n t o n m e n t cantonment cantonment we pronounce it cantonment cantonment means the place where soldiers are quartered the place where soldiers are quartered number 13 conservatory c o n s e r v a t o r y c o n s e r v a t o r y conservatory conservatory means the place uh, the place for the place where uh, the place where plants are kept from cold the building the place or the building where plants are kept from cold kept from cold conservatory means the place or building where plants are kept from cold number 14 cul de sac cul de sac c u l d e s a c c u l d e s a c we pronounce it cul de sac c u l d e s a c cul de sac cul de sac means a, st- a street close at one end a street closed at one end cul de sac means a street closed at one end number 15 is dock we know it very it's a very common word we know it dock d o c k dock d o c k dock dock means the place where ships are loaded unloaded or repaired dock means the place where ships are loaded unloaded or repaired dock number 16 filature f i l a t u r e f i l a t u r e filature filature means the place where silk is reeled from cocoons the place where silk is reeled from cocoons filature means the place where silk is reeled from cocoons number 17 is glyptotheca g l y p t o t h e c a g l y p t o t h e c a cliptotheca cliptotheca means uh, the place for cons- uh, the place for con- uh, conserving sculpture the place for conserving sculpture cliptotheca means the place for conserving sculpture number 18 granary g r a n a r y g r a n a r y granary granary means the place where grain is stored the place where grain is stored granary means the place where grain is stored number 19 hanger h a n g a r h a n g a r hanger we pronounce it hanger h a n g a r we don't pronounce it hanger the correct pronunciation is hanger hanger means uh, a building where aeroplanes are housed a building where aeroplanes are housed hangar means a building where aeroplanes are housed number 20 is hippodrome h i p p o d r o m e h i p p o d r o m e hippodrome we pronounce it hippodrome hippodrome means hippodrome means uh, a theater providing variety entertainment a theater providing variety entertainment hippodrome means a theater providing variety entertainment number 21 hutch 
H U T C H H U T C H Hutch Hutch means a cage for keeping rabbits a cage a cage for keeping rabbits so Hutch means a cage for keeping rabbits number 22 is very common you know this word kindergarten K I N D E R G A R T E N K I N D E R G A R T E N kindergarten kindergarten means a school for very young children a school for very young children or a school for very small children kindergarten number 23 is monastery m o n a s t e r y m o n a s t e r y monastery we don't pronounce it monastery the correct word is is monastery m o n a s t e r y monastery monastery means residence for monks residence for monks residence for monks monastery means residence for monks number 24 observatory o b s e r v a t o r y o b s e r v a t o r y observatory observatory means the place for making astronomical observations the place for making astronomical observations so observatory means the place for making astronomical observations number 25 is orchard o r c h a r d o r c h a r d orchard o r c h a r d orchard that means the place where fruit trees are grown orchard means the place where fruit trees are grown orchard means the place where fruit trees are grown number 26 is key key u a y key u a y key we don't pronounce it quay it is wrong if you pronounce it quay it is wrong the correct pronunciation is key key u a y key key means the place where ships can be tied the place where ships can be tied so key means the place where ships can be tied key u a y key the place where ships can be tied number 27 for the last one word substitute is treasury you know it very common word treasury t r e a s u r y t r e a s u r y treasury means the place where government or public revenues are kept the place where government or public revenues are kept treasury treasury means the place where government or public revenues are kept so my dear friends this is the end of the lesson today and i hope uh, i hope you have uh, you have absorbed something important from this lesson and i hope you will use them in your day to day english with the promise of coming to you with another educative and interesting video for today i may take your leave thank you